still a bit of a lash up but the remote control pod is now wired into the inverter and so what we can do is see what happens when we turn this uh, to the forward position and then crank up the uh, control speed control that's running now in fact uh, that's reverse let's uh, turn it off put it into reverse right so the responsiveness of that seems fine I'm going to keep it going at a speed and then turn it off and see how fast it stops. That's a nice ramp down. Go to the other direction. It's a reasonable ramp up. I'm happy with that. Shouldn't leave that flicking, running about on there. Right. Uh, the settings on there then for uh, ramp up and ramp down appear to be uh, acceptable. Let me just check that again. Yeah, no, <coughs> I won't. You've seen it. I'm going to check it off, uh, don't lengthen the video anymore. Uh, it's running and I'm pleased to about uh, that. change something so that the direction of the motor corresponds to the direction shown on the pod, the remote control pod. My understanding is that there are two ways of uh, getting the motor to go in opposite direction. One is to swap any two of the three phases over. Uh, and the other one would be to just swap the... Um, wires into the controller um, I'm hoping that's right because basically what you would do then is just tell the controller the controller would then send the sit the phasing would adjust the phasing of its signals out to the motor so uh, either way would do just uh, swapping the phases down there or swapping the wires up there uh, I just have to decide which is easier and more consistent to do.